like I'm in um, heaven or bacon. You want bacon? Yes. <laughs> Dutch McDonald's. <laughs> Hello guys, Super Prasha and today we're still in Amsterdam, the Netherlands. The weather's still awesome. It's like in the mid 20 degrees. You know, last episode we bring you to Albacar, which is like one of the biggest, and say the best, the biggest street market in Amsterdam. For me, it's a little touristy, but you know, the food there is quite good. But I actually want to know what is local here eat, and of course. Who gonna be the best guy to show I'm me? Back. He's gonna be showing us around where you're growing up here for 20, 30 years, right? Yeah, so today I will show you where the locals eat and some local food. Uh, it's spread out all over the city, so it'll be a busy day. But we'll show you the best places for you to uh, enjoy when you're, once you're here one day. Yeah, so we're just gonna go to uh, not a tourist spot, but uh, just quite where no. the locals eat. Where the local is, that's right. Let's go. So we at the first shop now, Haas. We made it. Yeah. My favorite. Really? Let Just me show around you. The corner. This one? Yes. Oh I'm, my I'm god. I've been there for 20 years. It's owned a gentleman and his wife. They're from Amsterdam. His name is Han. And we're uh, actually going to order the sandwich. His name is Hans. Oh, Named wow. After him. It's, just, it's lovely. It has spicy salami and it's my favorite for, I don't know, okay, 20 years. Man. 20 years. Let's do it. Let's do it. So actually, my favorite sandwich, I'm coming here for years, is called Hans, the name of the owner. Okay. And, and part of it will be the spicy salami you see here. Yes, it's so good. It's very nice. It's pretty so good. I'm not a foodie myself, so you have to taste it yourself. But, uh, and you <laughs> can comment more, but um, okay. it's, I, I like it a lot. Uh, and it's, okay. it's, it's done in the oven for a few minutes too. I'm going to put it in the oven and make wow, it hot. Okay. <laughs> This is look crazy. Oh my god. Look at the uh, bacon. <laughs> and this is the uh, the spicy salami, right? Yes. Oh my god. Just can't wait to try some melty cheese on top in there. Mmm. And also uh, man, this is a heaven bacon. <laughs> First bite. Man, I just so many bacon. Mmm. Damn. Mm. It's like I'm in a heaven of bacon. This is like, you want bacon? Yes. This is, if you're a bacon lover, oh my god. It's so crispy. Oh, it's so salty and on point. And you have this chicken in there. It's, not really taste anything because it's everything you taste here is all bacon but it's just a part in your mouth if you are a bacon lover oh my god really really high recommend this look at this mm. Mm. and this is one it says your favorite right it is man what is this one spicy italian with cheese salami yeah it's so good i'll try Wow, really, really good ceramic and the spicy. Oh, I didn't expect, I, mean, I tried it one in before and it's just spice. I can't believe it's this spicy. Oh, it's really good with, with the cheese and some oregano. The bread is perfect combination too. It's like so crunchy and it's like a little weedy, but it's just mashing with all the, uh, the flavor in here. This is one of the best spicy ceramic I ever tried. Crazy house. So you, you eat this for a long time, yeah? Yeah, I started eating this like 20 years ago. It's actually, the sandwich is called Hans. It's, Hans? The, na it's the name of the owner. Ah. So uh, whenever you come in and you ask for Broodje Hans, which is his name, he knows what to do. Ah, so Hans sandwich, you guys. Yes. Man. 
and I like it because it's all uh, they're both am from Amsterdam as well, so it's uh, more of a local uh, experience. How long have you lived? How long have you lived here? Me, probably like 20 years. Man, this is one of the best sandwiches. So Haas, where are we going next? Oh, we just left the sandwich shop and around the corner, this corner, there's yeah. the apple pie shop. It's called Winkle. It's okay. very famous. It's probably very busy. There will be a long line, but the apple pie is the best. All right. Two minutes away. Let's go. second stop for today. Man, you know, it's a long line here. What's going on? It's always very busy. It's only Thursday today, but uh, normally in weekends, this one on the corner have a very big market too. It's very really pretty here. Yeah, so it's a we nice have corner. to wait and see, but best apple pie is coming soon. This thing is crazy. Very gingery, but uh, it's really good. Man, look at this. <laughs> Looks so amazing. So we should be coming to try this, man. It's hot. This one? Yeah, no. Mm. Wow. It just really melts your mouth, man. I don't understand. It's just like very warm apples. Got some almond. And then cream. Oh, the pest refined. It's just like, how do you say it? It's like a sugary caramelized. And you smell the cinnamon. Oh, and a layer of apple. Nice. Man, say something. I hope you like it. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. going here every month, so... <laughs> oh, really? Wow. Look at this crazy ginger tea I got. Have you ever seen this ginger tea in your, in your tea like this? <laughs> wow. I need to come here, guys. This is so good. Holy shit. This is the best, right? Yeah, it's definitely the best. Even the whipping cream is really good. Did you special came okay, to Amsterdam for the apple pie? Yeah? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> no lying. <laughs> no lying. No, it is. I tried one before, but uh, this is this is always coming back. Okay. <laughs> that's, uh, that's for us. How does this work? So this is Fabo, a Dutch famous, we call it snack bar, so it's all deep fried snacks. And yeah. they just prepare it for you, so you don't have to be in line. Ah, so normally nice. you pay by cash or by card and just pick whatever you like. Ah. And just open the door. It's like a vending machine with snacks. Yes, it's nice. You recommend me this one, right? Uh, this, this one I like personally, yes, it's called Frikandel. So it's pastry made with spicy chicken and beef. Yeah. Slowly cooked in. Ah, all right. I will just get this one. And I just click it here. Right? <laughs> nice. When I look at closely, it's no breadcrumb at all. In the, in the, uh, in the winning machine, it looks like I have some breadcrumb, but it's all pure meat. So first bite on, which is called again? Frikandel. Frikandel. Mm. It's like a meatball but in a stick. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like it. It's uh salty, some spice in there for sure. Not too not spicy at all for me. Really interesting Dutch thing. And this one is crooked. Yeah. So it's another Best seller one, right? That people is This one is popular. actually more popular. More ah, popular. okay. It's, so it's a croquette, just croquette, croquette. Yeah. It's very, it's fried, it's bready. I don't think I'm, nothing can go wrong with this. Let's buy it. Wow. 
quite hot inside. It's like potato is mashed potato, and there's some meat in there too. Bread crumb, a little curry curry paste. Mm. Ah, hot. Also, really, really good. I mean, for fast food, mm -hmm. I would say. I can take you to a different place later, which is famous for this. Perfect. And this is like traditional Dutch Very, stuff? Yeah. Very traditional. Yeah. Nice. But Fabo is a good stop. When you're in Amsterdam, visit Fabo. It's everywhere though? Yes. Yes, yes. It's a fast food chain, eh? Yeah. Awesome. Dutch McDonald's. <laughs> So this is the roti place. I like it a lot because there's a big heritage from Suriname in the Netherlands and they have uh, their uh, dishes. So uh, is this uh, roti, what it's called, you say from Suriname? Suriname, yes. Okay, so it's not like uh, Indian roti, it's different. There's probably a little bit of overlap, but uh, this has uh, heritage from Suriname. And there's a lot of people from Suriname in the Netherlands. That's why uh, they brought the dish to uh, the Netherlands. Gotcha. It's nice. very nice. You'll like it. It's for me, it's like a burrito, buddy. It looks like it, but I'm tempted to say that you will like this better. Ah, okay. Can't wait to try. No. Okay, Haas. This is the... what is it called again? I forgot. Such a foodie, you forgot the name. It's called roti. Roti. Just roti and it's uh, with lamb. This one is lamb, potato and green beans. Alright, okay. First bite. And off the record I had to explain to him where Suriname was, but mm -hmm. now he knows. Hmm. Well, no bad. Hmm, interesting. So for me, this is like a real roti. It's like an Indian roti with uh, mm -hmm. with dip. Yeah. It's crazy. It's like so the lamb is um so the lamb is so soft and it's just melt in your mouth kind of way. It's a strong Indian curry, like curry paste, I would say. This is my first time try Suriname foods, and it's uh, I would try it again for sure, man. Oh, this is so good. Hmm. Well, let me put some sauce. I'm not sure what sauce this is. But, mm. so, it's too much. Too much? I don't know. For, has. Me, for me, it will be. Has, 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 has. What are you talking about? Mmm. Woo! Yeah, buddy. This one I'm, I'm talking about. Woo ho ho ho! So good. Wow. House in Amsterdam. It's like hiking every time. How like was it? I like it. Yeah, that's is very interesting. We need to continue the food tour.